just talk about weed and hemp, although we really <laughs> love it a <laughs> lot. No, I just got we here. We also talked about uh, some important themes for all of us that, that we came to Occupy for. And also what our next discuss discussion topic is going to lead into that we're going to do in a group and then right here way, they can talk to which us. is about what actions we would like to see. And one of the things that came up was sure that we can a lot of us feel we never what? stopped uh -huh. occupying. There you go. And a lot of other people think that Occupy is dead. And we're not going to take that personally, even though some of us already did take it personally. Because we're going to just breathe new life back into it and show the people what we saw all along. Right. Which and is now. That there is a unified message. The message is that we've got to fight for our right to be able to peacefully air our grievances. And personally, I would like to see as much activism and protest uh, <laughs> surrounding how they treated us put this here down on the bottom, maybe? as we're rising to action right here, right for back. Turkey and for Pussy Riot okay. and for some situations that and places that aren't actually guaranteed free expression even though I believe in free expression some of the places that were the most offended by uh, the way protesters are being treated are countries where they never were guaranteed free expression. But in this country, it is our right for sure. And I would like to see um, more ways that we can express that right, whether it's chalking or whatever, without Make sure, make sure we see her. Arrested. Sad. Sad. No problem. Yeah, now we can see her better. This way. So, be careful. And I'm not a goddamn drug addict. One of the best things I would like to see is unity in the movement because we do need to find a way to communicate less violently. Let's go get her. Let's go over here so we can see And one of the saddest things, so thanks James for coming there, is that some of our strongest act activists, the best way that they discredit us is to call us crazy or to pick a fight with us or to create so that we're not in accordance so that we can't get done what we need to get done. If there's a way to overcome that, whether it be through nonviolent communication or I volunteered to put on a bikini and mud wrestle over it, which is maybe not nonviolent, but anyway, that will be the next discussion. Anybody else on stack for the report back? Okay, so Mary. Mary, report back, and then we're going to do a group okay. discussion. It's going to be sideways. Don't tell that to be a group report back. I'll just make my own report. Say, so I don't have to worry about accuracy of the, what I say. Although I sometimes call myself in Let me touch you real quick. Uh, the one thing that Melissa has just said is that some countries do not have free expression. What they don't do have is a desire to express themselves, and when they do have the space, they create the space, and whether they have the space depends upon whether U.S. equipped troops are suppressing them, and whether that happens depends upon whether we protest U.S. foreign policy. Yeah, good. Second. What's that? No, just kidding. <laughs> There are several people who have said, hey, let's create our own alternative lifestyle thing to counteract the corporations. Let us make our own little co-ops. Let us make this thing. That is one thing I disagree with because it says, hey, we're going to be in our own little 